Hey there folks, it's Foggy. This is a year of solo board gaming. Uh, my ill-advised and stupid adventure through the world of board games uh, that can be played on your own. Uh, we are in the cult of the new week and that means that we're playing games that were released 2019 or later. This is Duffers, a card game all about playing golf uh, that was released in 2020. Uh, and I'm going to be doing two games of this and it's going to be a little unusual. Uh, so I'm going to do one that is the solo version that's in the game that's in the book rule book. Like there's a whole section in here called solo mode, which you can see there. A lot of instructions. And what's nice is there's not a lot, lot of like flipping back and forth. You don't read this and then go all the way back to the beginning. Be like, what's, what do I do there? This is pretty much, uh, I mean, you do need to know how to play the game, but for the most part, uh, it's pretty well done in terms of giving you a complete set of solo rules that don't require a lot of back and forthing. Uh, and we've got our, our thing set up here. These are, this is our holes. We're going to do the holes in order, uh, just because I feel like it. And then we've got some equipment over here. We've got luck, duffers, and then this is our hand. Now, we're going to have three playthroughs of this to get to try to complete as many holes as possible. Any holes that we don't complete uh, by the time that we go through this three times, those, are the, those we're going to count as double par. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead just so that I don't end up using... A ridiculous amount of score sheets just for doing this. We're going to, I think, use this one. So I've already started this. Yeah, we'll use the back side of this. There we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. And uh, to start with, let's get our holes out. So we've got Beginner's Luck, Pumpkin Patch, and Cakewalk. And the goal of this is to try to complete these holes uh, given the conditions that are shown. And um, you have to try to get within a certain number of yards. And I think that the, the amount that you can go over is 50. Uh, completing a hole. Yeah, it's less than 50. Uh, so I can go up to 180 and still be, still be fine. Uh, there are conditions for each of these. Now, a condition for every hole is that you have to finish off each hole with a putter. Uh, those will be special clubs that are marked with a P. Uh, in addition, I cannot use wood cards to complete the first two holes. So I have to use irons only uh, to complete these. And then this cakewalk, I can do anything else on. Uh, for each uh, turn, you're going to basically reveal three cards. So I've got a three wood. And that's it. Now, I can, if I wanted to, play this three wood here. I'm 50 over now at this point, uh, which still means, and I still need a putter. Uh, but since I don't have a putter there, uh, it's going to be difficult to stay within that. So I'm not going to play that card there. That is just not going to work. Uh, I think instead we're just simply going to have to go three more. So go three more. We've got now 150, which is a really good one. I'm going to go with this here. We've got Big Head Driver, which unfortunately is too big. It's way too big for this. Uh, it's just I, I'm not going to be able to play that. So that's pretty much it. I'm 20 over here. Uh, if I wanted to, I could play this one here. And then if I get a putter that gets me at least 25 yards, I can then complete the hole. Um, so it's kind of a kind of a toss up. Do you, do, you, do you risk it? Do you not risk it? I think I'm going to keep it here. I think I'm going to assume that I'm going to go a little bit over, but keep it like that. One, two, three. So chip shot, um, beginners, uh, that's not going to go anywhere. One, two, three, four iron. So now we're at 185. Uh, I kind of wish I had saved this. We're going to go 185 here, I think. And then we get gain a duff card. So a duff card will pull this out. We get whiff. Add one stroke to your total strokes. This will get played here. This is now part of this. The important thing to remember, though, is that we're at 185. So I'm going to put this at behind. And that means that any card that we play here has to be lower, 185 or lower. I cannot play a larger card. I'm going to play 140 here. And now I just need putters. Uh, for the most part, I need putters. One, two, three. Uh, I could play this 90 here. That's going to put me at 275. That's too far over. One, two, three. That's not going to do me any good. One, two, three. All right, we got a putter. Regulation putter. Um, so I could do this on any of these cards. 
uh, I might as well go ahead and go on to the... Well, I need something here that's actually going to push me up over 175. Uh, for this, uh, this will not have any yards, so I'm not far enough yet. But this is actually the only one I can play it on. So now that I've played it, I get, uh, I'm going to count up my strokes, which is three, which is good because that's three par. So I'm going to write three, three, zero here. And I'm going to take this hole out of the way. We're going to move this hole off to the side and replace the hole. We've now got hole number four. It's 255, no conditions other than the fact that we have to have a putter at the end of it. Uh, I've now got a chip shot on top. And what I could do is I could play the chip shot either here or here. Now the chip shot is going to bring me to 215, not quite enough to get the uh, the putter, uh, not quite enough to complete the hole. I think I want to play it here. This will put me slightly over the yardage. It's now at 180 uh, total. And now I can play a putter here and that'll hook, finish off that. Um, it's an iron, so I can still play it there, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's see, 160, if I play this here, it's more than half, I think that's okay, but I do have to now reveal the luck card and see what happens. Uh, lucky break, 60 yards until the end of the turn. So that's going to be, I'm going to add that here. We're going to get uh, 225 or yeah, 200, 220, uh, which brings me a lot closer. It puts me 35 within. This is not going to be usable on any of these, so we're going to go ahead and start another turn. I've got a two iron for 215. Unfortunately, none of that is going to help me here. One, two, three. A 110 is not going to help me here. That's going to put me way too far on any of them. One, two, three. Give me a moment. All right. Uh, sorry for the brief jump there. Uh, we are continuing on with duppers here. Uh, we've got a regulation putter. It'll add two strokes, uh, but zero yardage. Uh, so that's a plus. Uh, we're still at 185 for that. We're not quite at the point where we can finish that off. Uh, we are at 180 here, so this will finish off. Uh, we will play this here. That is 220, so we can't do it there. So this will put us at four. We are one over, unfortunately. So that is plus one. Horrible, horrible bogey. Uh, we're going to move pumpkin patch and the club cards all over here. It means we're going to reveal another club course. So we got 170, and we're going to get to draw one of these. Uh, play a spe uh, special ability to discard a duff card if you do draw a card. So we could get rid of this. We could use this to get rid of a, a, disc, a duff card, which I think just means it's going to go back down to the bottom here. Or actually, no, it gets, gets, dark, gets started down to here. Uh, and then we draw a card. So if we draw a card... We get to draw one card here, and that goes on top. And then this will go down to the bottom, like that. I think that's how it works. It's very unclear how you're supposed to deal with equipment and stuff like that, but it, I think it basically stays in the deck, which is kind of weird. It might even actually stay, might even stay like this. I think that's actually how it's supposed to go. Uh, so now we got a 95 uh, yard pitching wedge. Uh, so we're at 35 out from that. We are at 35 yards out from that. We are at 270 from that, so we can't really play it. We'll draw another three cards. Uh, chip shot. <sighs> chip shot is almost enough to get me to finish off that as well as that. Like, that's what's frustrating, is that I feel like I want to get this chip shot out of here so I can get this big head driver on here, which means I can get this miracle iron on here. Not a miracle iron. That's going to be 70 yards plus two strokes. That's horrible. But if I play it here, that puts me at that. That allows me to actually finish that at three. The problem is then I need a very short putter, and I don't think one exists. So we're gonna we're gonna disregard that. 130 regulation putter unfortunately my regulation putter is not useful here because there's nothing that's close enough to put in uh five wood we'll go ahead and play the five wood play right there we reveal the top luck card 
Uh, 100 yards until the end of your turn and gain one duff card. Oof. So that's going to make this 310, which means I need to like, get that in. And then we get a duff card, negative 40 yards, so that'll go against that. Uh, so now we are at 270. Exactly right. So that is one stroke still. So that's not bad. Uh, that is 270. We can close that out as soon as we get a putter. Uh, and then this is not going to do us any good there, so let's go continue on. All right, putter, 70. Um, does not help us here because that puts us way over. We're at 220 right now. Uh, 70 puts us at 290, which is within, still within, and we'd be one under par. And then over here... Uh, that would put us at par, and we'd be at 255. Either of these are going to close. I'm going to go ahead and play it here. So that'll be 3 out of 4, or minus 1. And that is now done. Put that over there. Open up a new hole. This is hole number 6. 320 yards. We now get a piece of equipment as well, wooden tee. Uh, we can do this. We can use this to basically um, play this onto a hole. We'll get plus twenty yards. We don't actually subtract these at the end, though, uh, so we don't get any negatives from it. Um, that would be nice, but it's not going to really be that helpful. Uh, so we'll leave it as is for now. One, two, three, two hundred and forty, which is probably going to be needed here and then gain a duff card. So slice, subtract 40 yards. That puts me at 200. I could play the six iron. The six iron would keep me in range, um, but then I get another duff card and I'm not sure I really want to do that. One, two, three. Miracle pitching wedge, 30. That is so close to being helpful over here. Uh, so the question is, where do I want this one? And I think the only place I can put it is here. Currently, I'm at 270. This will put me at 300. Uh, and it'll give me a two strokes. Yep, two strokes uh, for a par four. That's not bad at all. Now two under par. New hole, 390. Players cannot exceed this whole distance by more than 20 yards. I have to keep that within 410. Uh, I can play this 180 here. Um, that would be a gimme putt. It's not going to help me out with either of these, though. If I play the 180 here, that'll be um, 380. That's too much. So I'm going to... Oh, that would be... So yeah, i got to go on to the next one. All right, so 170 and then a couple gimme putts. Um, 170 here is going to keep it exactly at 50. Because uh, currently we're at 200. And I just want to make sure that it is 50 or less than 50. To successfully complete a hole, cards you played for yardage can add up to or exceed uh, exceed the total distance of the hole by no more than 50 yards. So it seems like 50 yards is the limit, but that is a good question. If I play it, I'll get a four on this. I'm also only through my first pass through the through the cards. So my inclination is to not play it yet. I'm going to continue on. One, two, three, 250. I will play that. Uh, 115, that will bring me to 365. Um, this would bring me to 315. Then I gain a duff card, so that might end up counting against me. 
And then I can't play this 170 on here or this 195. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do three more. Give me putt, six iron, chip shot, chip shot. Uh, let's do, we might as well do the chip shot here just to get us a little bit closer. It's probably a mistake. Uh, then we're going to play 130. That's going to bring me to 380. Uh, reveal the top luck card. Plus 50 yards till the end of your turn. Uh, so that's going to bring me what? Is that too much? That is too much. 4, 8, 430. I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, I suppose I could play this on a different... I don't know if I can play this on a different hole. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to play this over here. That's going to be 250. Why not? Uh, so we're still not quite enough to get that in. Not quite enough to get that in. You know what? I'm going to play this over here. And then I'll do this. There we go. So this is going to give me a total of one stroke, two strokes, three strokes uh, for my par three. I have no idea if that's a right way to play. I don't care. Zero. We're going to reveal a new hole. This is hole number eight. I'm going to get an equipment card. Play a special ability, trash club card from your hand. Uh, if you do, you may search your deck for a club card and add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Uh, I don't know how that fits in here, but I'm not going to play it. So then we do one, two, and we don't have enough to do three. So we're going to flip this over and do three. There we go. So now 30 uh, will bring me, currently we're at 380, so that is enough to bring me right over. That's 410. I need a miracle putter to basically close this out. So I'm not going to actually play that there. That's stupid. Why am I going to play that there? Why? One, two, three. Because I could have gotten that. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Um, okay. So I can't play that anywhere, so there's no point looking at it. One, two, three. 300 yards. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that towards this. Uh, gain a death card. Uh, minus 30. So that puts me at 270. If I play this, it'll bring me to one, uh, 420, which is not quite enough. Uh, currently, we're at 380, so we're only 10 short there. Uh, we are currently at two, 200 here. Uh, 200 brings me to 350, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then we get a duff card. Uh, half the yardage of the club card in your hand with the greatest distance. Ouch. That brings me down to 120, 270, 230. So, wow, I need, I need a 90 now to finish that off. That sucks. Okay. Uh, and then this card can't be played anywhere. So, 1, 2, 3, 5 iron, 175. Uh, it's not going to be playable anywhere. Just keep in mind, you do have to continue to go down in size. Two, three. Pitching wedge, 60. So we've got 380 there, but we can't go more than 310. Uh, we've got, let's see, 120, 270, 230. 230, I'm going to go ahead and play this pitching wedge here and then play the top luck card. Plus 30 till the end of your turn. Um, So I guess we'll play that here. So what does that bring me to? All right, that brings me to 320 exactly. All right. What a mess. Uh, then this 90, can this go anywhere? Uh, this is 380, this is 300. No, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, I do want to put that there. Reveal the top luck card. Negative 50 until the end of your turn. So that only added 50, card, 50 yards. Uh, oh, wait. So we got negative... Oh, that's bad. So I'm at 310. 310 with 125 yards to go. That's not good. Three more cards. I got a chip shot here. The chip shot... Um, I feel like I should just put that there. Just get it over with. So now I can get... I can't get any more yardage on there, but I can add five, uh, add a gimme putt to it. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I can do. One, two, three. Five iron, I can't add anywhere. One, two, three. Can't add that anywhere. One, two, three. Can't get, add that anywhere. One, two, 
three. Can't add that anywhere. I could add that actually to this, but that's going to be really harsh to try to deal with. One, and then do I get anything? Nope. One, two, three. Regulation putt counts as a putt card. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply that to this one so we get this out of the way because uh, I can't go much over that. Uh, it's a whopping five strokes, though. So my turns reach card, which is hole number seven, five out of four. So that's a plus one for my par. The last hole of the game comes into play. Moonshot. We get this. Uh, when you play this for yardage, draw a card. You may ignore one duck card in your hand this turn. So if I were to play this here, what would that do? Basically, I'd be adding 50 yards to this. So that would all get canceled out. This would now be worth 390. The problem is, is that this makes this 20 yards total. And at that point, then, I don't think I can add anything else onto this. So I can't play it on here. Which sucks. All right. Um, one, two, three. 200 I could put on here, but I feel like that that is not enough uh, for that to go. I could do 200 and then 190, 190. That's going to give me 390. Still not enough to really get me in close enough. 1, 2, 3. 220, that's a good amount of, of yardage. Do I want to go there? Do I want to put this here? I think I've got a couple better cards that I can go there. One, two, three, 180. And see, if I had done that, I would have gotten the gimme putt and I could have closed this hole out. That would have been nice. I could still go here. I think I will go here. And so I can close this out. Uh, can this be, this cannot be closed out yet. All right, so this is done. So one, two, three, four, four. On Spiderweb, which is hole number six. That's a zero. Uh, we have no more holes to add, but we do get a, one more piece of, it, uh, of this. This would be a swing of 90 because it allows me to trash a duff card from here, plus I'll get the plus 20, plus 40 yards for this. And is that enough? So that puts me at 480 minus the 50, brings me, yeah, that's enough. So that is gonna go here. That is gonna go here, and then I will trash that. Uh, trash, I mean, it has a different meaning than discard in this game. So I'm going to assume the trash means just throw it down here. But now that, that is one putt away from being done. I can do 165 here, but that is a little on the risky side, I think. One, two, three. I will do this here. That's 170. Uh, that puts me at 350 total. And then I will go ahead and do this putt, because I can't do the other one. Because uh, that will close me out. So it's two, one, four strokes total, which is a par. So that's four, four, zero. One hole left to go. I do get a piece of equipment. Uh, plus 25, If you when you play this for yardage, draw a card. So I'm not going to do that because that, is, that would be bad. Uh, special plays. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So then we do three more cards. One, two three chip shot i'm not going to do that one two three give me putt no nope. one two three 170 so i think i can play an equal or lesser than in the solo game Descending order of yardage values. 
What it does not say is whether or not that that is that covers items that are the same amount. Uh, my inclination is that it should, but I can understand why it wouldn't. Uh, but if I were to do that, then I draw a luck card. I don't think I'm going to do. I, I don't think I'm going to play it. One seventy-five, one eighty-five. So that can't be played. Uh, Two fifteen can't be played. One ten can be played. Uh, One ten is going to make it so that I'm at what four hundred and sixty. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to, then going to get a luck card. Bad luck. Trash a card from your hand. If the to buy value of the card is less than forty credits, gain a duff card. Ooh. I got to get rid of this one, otherwise it's going to completely screw me up. Which means I am going to get a duff card out of this. I think the luck card stays here. Uh, and this is going to subtract 40 yards total, putting me at 300 even. That's no bueno. Uh, I could play this. That would give me 420, but I don't think that that's really a good idea. Two, three. Uh, so I will play the special ability, get rid of the slice. That'll bring me back to 350. I get to draw a card as a result of that. Uh, that is not a good card to go with. Two, three. But we are running out of options. 20, that is just garbage. Can't play that. Can't play that. Can't. I mean, I could play that, but I can't. I mean, I'm, I gotta. Lucky break. You may complete a par three hole for one stroke. And that doesn't really apply here. And that's going to just end up... All right, so I get a 10 on this last one. I get double par, uh, which kind of sucks. But maybe that'll make up for my hole. Probably wasn't playing it correctly anyway. Uh, gameplay, so that's plus 5. So my overall score is plus 4. So, yeah, plus 4. All right, so that is the solo version of this game. Uh, sorry for the jump cut in the middle there. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, and I'll show you how to do... God, stay in effing place, please. Uh, I'll show you... Um, the, the reason I'm going to do a two-handed game of this is because I want you to see what you're missing otherwise. Uh, but I will be back with this tomorrow, and I'll see you then.